Okay, my Arnold, welcome back. If you're looking to travel overseas anytime soon, you'll definitely want to see this next story. A shortage of flights is biting and prices are high. In New Zealand, CEO admits he was taken by surprise by the timing of our border reopening as the national carrier scrambles to get enough planes back in the air. Janneke Turellen reports. When our borders reopened, this was the response. Since then, demand for flights has exploded as cooped up Kiwis finally book their trips. This is almost like the toilet paper's going off the shelves way back at the start of 2020. Travel agent Brent Thomas has been in the industry 24 years and says it's the worst he's seen it, the perfect storm of demand exceeding supply. It did catch us by surprise. I think it's caught the airlines by surprise and it's taken them a while to respond. I'm trying to book a flight to Melbourne on Air New Zealand's website for this month, but most days there's nothing left. It's the same for popular destinations Los Angeles and London. There's close to nothing left for the next month. Many domestic routes are also tight. Tour company The Travel Corporation has noticed a massive spike in demand for its youth Contiki brand. On May alone, over 40% increase in people wanting to travel. Air New Zealand CEO Greg Foran admits it's been a scramble trying to get planes back in the air. Restarting the business has been you know, quite a fast and furious exercise. But the government fast-forwarded its border reopening. He says it took him by surprise. The instructions that we were hearing from the government were this would be a slower opening of the borders, it would be more staged. Air New Zealand says it's working on getting five 777s stored in a North American desert back here. But Foran says with staff training and plane checks, it takes about four months to get one on deck. We're running at about 40% at the moment and progressively as each week goes by just adding in a bit more as resources become available to get to 50% and then about July the 4th is, is when we really start to turn on. By next month the airline hopes to be back up to 72% capacity but there are still some complications to come. So Janneke for those that are looking to book travel soon is it going to get any easier? It's tricky. There's certainly more flights coming back on deck, as well as those extra seats from Air New Zealand. Three North American airlines will be back at our airports in the next few months. Will it be easier? Well, there's a couple of big buts. First, we're still tracking at about 50% of our pre-pandemic travel, so there's a lot more demand to come back yet. The government's also looking to get rid of that COVID pre-departure testing. That's for international tourists, and they want to get rid of that in the next couple of months, so that'll ramp up demand as well. So it still could be quite tricky to get both the price and the date that you want in the next few months. There is one thing that everyone seems certain of though, that rising fuel price means it is very unlikely flights will get cheaper, so you should book soon. Janneke, thanks so much for the update.